Hello everyone. This is my first live, so I'm a little bit unsure. Um, can you let me know if you can hear me? I'm just gonna hope so and get started. Um, my name's Angie, I'm an Ellie Nail Pro. I've been doing nails for um, five and a half years now. I've been using Light Elegance for about three, three and a half years. Um, love the products, love the brand. So when I was asked to do the live today, I was obviously really excited, but terrified. This is the first time going live. So I think I'm just gonna get started. Um, if you've got any questions as I'm going through, just pop them in the comments. I'm gonna have um, another phone set up so that I can read the comments and get back to you. We've also got um, Jojo and Layla online, hopefully. So if I miss any questions, they'll be on hand to answer for me. So I'm just setting my camera up. I've got this lovely new device that Jojo recommended for me and I'm really hoping that's gonna work well. So hopefully everyone's seen um, the pictures of what I'm going to be doing, but I have got them here. I don't know if we're going to have time for all five, um, but they're all very similar and it's more about the technique really. Um, just so you don't have to sit watching me paint tips. Here's some I did earlier. <laughs> um, these are all with the um, base colour, Nude with Attitude. I've done them um, in P+, plus, but you can, or this does also come in the buttercream version, which is also just as beautiful to apply. Um, but for today, going with P+. Plus. The first design I'm gonna show you is this one here. So I've gone with a bit of a different texture on this one because I got the new um, P+, plus flat mat a couple of weeks ago and I absolutely adore it. Um, I love that as a finish. So I've gone with a matte finish and then with the gel paint that I'm gonna be using to do the leaves. Um, that one, you don't have to top coat it. So you can leave that as a nice shiny finish um, or you can matte top coat it if you prefer it to look that way. So to get started, what I always do, once I've painted the tips ready, or, you know, painted the nails, I'm just doing them on tips for ease today, um, but always wipe the inhibition layer off. So, you know, that tacky layer that you get on there, you just need to get a little bit of your um, Ellie cleanser and wipe it off. It just makes life much easier. Just zoom in a little bit. If I go out of shot, can you just, um, just give me a little nudge and let me know. <laughs> So for the glitter on this one, I've used a spot by the stream, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, so this is um, a hard gel glitter, but I've, as I'm only gonna be using a tiny, tiny little bit um, on the design, it doesn't matter that I'm gonna be putting it over a P plus. I mean, look at that, that is stunning. And it'll give you a different effect over any color. There's so so many different sort of base hues to this. Um, have a play with it. I, I mean, I do, always. <laughs> so, just wipe my little stirrer off. So to apply the glitter, I'm gonna use the number four oval light elegance brush. This is my favorite for most applications, really. Um, if I'm using um, buttercreams, Lexi line, anything, this is my go-to. So I'm just gonna get a little bit. Just bear with me if I go out of shot. I'm trying to work with the phone above me, which I don't normally do. Um, you don't have to be particularly precise about where you put this. I'm just gonna be dabbing it about a bit, really. But the trick is to keep it nice and thin because as much I'm going to encapsulate it slightly but you don't want it to end up being too bulky so just put in little bits here and there 
as me saying, oh, I'll set up my other phone so I can see the questions and I haven't even looked yet. So yeah, just slightly dabbing about. It, it looks a little bit of a mess right now, but I assure you it won't at the end. Well, I hope it won't at the end. If it does, I'm in trouble. So that's about as much as I want to put on there. It's not too thick. I think it's just where the light's reflecting off of it. So with that, I'm just going to pop it in. You only need a 30-second uh, cure on that. So I'll just pop that in the LE light. Put that one away. If you could see the mess around my workstation right now, then you would realise why well, I'm having to get everything and shove it out of the way. Any of my current or old clients will tell you I'm a very messy worker. <laughs> so on top of that first, I'm just going to put a bit of the um, P Plus normal top coat on there just because it will give me a nicer finish. I'm basically just filling in gaps a bit really but it does self-level really nicely. Sorry I just realised I'm out of shot. So I'm just kind of going between the lines a bit just to level it out. And if I'm doing this and it doesn't sit too level, I always give it a little buff because no one wants a bumpy nail. Okay, so I will just pop that one in the lamp and I'm going to do that one for 60 seconds. So while I'm curing that, I've, as I said earlier, I'm going to be using the primary black gel paint which is really lovely. Um, I always start with the gel paints. I mean, they're, they're very highly pigmented and it does suspend really well, but just in case you would get a little sink at the bottom, I always just give it a little stir, not too much because you want air bubbles. I just take it from the bottom, flip it over. And that will make life much easier. Wipe my stir again. These little stir and scoops from Ellie, if you can see that, it doesn't go blurry. These are these are brilliant. These are good for little scooping and stirring. Hence the title. So while well, we're just waiting that to cure, as I said, I'm gonna be using the flat mat just to give that lovely base layer. When I said earlier about wiping the inhibition layers off of off of the nail before you do your nail art, um, some people prefer to just top coat with a mat first before doing the art. But I find if you start layering up like that one, it can just waste your product and we don't want to waste our precious flat mat. And it does work just as well without. So that doesn't look, I mean, it's ever so slightly bumpy. But by the time I've put the flat mat on, it will take that bump out. If you find that you have got, I mean, I don't know how well you can see that, as an ever such a slight ridge there, but this will level that out. If it was too bumpy, then I would wipe the inhibition layer and then just give it a little buff with just a little 240 grit file or a buffer if you have one. There's a flat mat. When you apply it, don't panic because it is... It is cloudy, but I mean, I've tried a few different matte top coats and they're all a little bit cloudy, so don't panic about that. So again, just fill in the side a little bit there. We want to make sure it's completely covered at this stage because this is going to be my final top coat on the nail, so you want to make sure that everything is capped with that. And then I will just pop that in for 60 seconds. See, I'm messy already. Yes, 
Yes, Jojo, sorry, this was um, a very important job that I made myself a note of that I do have to say that we do have the discount on. So anything that I'm showing you or anything on the website up until midnight tonight, if you use the code PROBEAUTY20, all capitals, you'll get 20% off your order. Um, if you don't happen to get it through tonight or put an order through tonight, then don't panic. You can just... Um, Look for one of the ambassador codes, any of the lives that the girls have done or after me, they all have a 5% discount code. So, you know, we all have to save a bit of money, don't we? Just frees you up more money to spend. Right, so I'll get started on my little, little leafy bits. So when people ask about doing this kind of intricate nail art, Usually my first two questions are, are you using gel paints and are you using a very, very thin brush? I mean, that's super thin and it will be, well, it would be even thinner if I wasn't zooming it in. The camera's just going out of focus. So they're your two main points or three really. Wipe the inhibition layer, a good brush and a gel paint, which I have got all over my glove. So that is now finished and cured. Um, as I said before, I have used other matte top coats and they do usually come out of the lamp with the matte finish. So don't panic that this one doesn't because as soon as you wipe that inhibition layer off, you do get that lovely matte finish on it. I've been really naughty there, scrubbing the nail like that. If this were on a client, then always just wipe from the cuticle down because you don't want to take any of that um, inhibition layer because there are uncured monomers sitting on there that you will then wipe all around the client's skin and lead to um, overexposure. We don't want that. So I'm going to start with these little branchy ones at the top. What some people find easier, I think because I do this day in, day out, kind of mastered the art of how much products to get on the brush. But if you find yourself ending up with like a bit of a, can you see that on there, a little bulbous bit at the end, get yourself an art palette or just, just a, a foil, just one of those little nail removal foils and just wipe it off slightly because you don't want any big balls on the end of your brush. So I'm going to start from the top. Can everyone see that okay? And just really lightly release the pressure as you come down so you get a nice thin branch at the end there. I'm just going to pick up a tiny, tiny little bit more so I can go in and do another branch. So my hands are really shaking. I've been terrified all day, I've been feeling sick. I'm kind of asking people to um, come and watch, but then I'm like, oh, what's worse? Whether they watch me or I have no one watching, I don't know. So that's the start of my little branches for the top. When doing any intricate design, flash curing is your friend. So I'm literally just popping that in the lamp just for a couple of seconds, just to make sure <laughs> that I don't smudge it. And also then, if you do happen to mess up, not a problem, you can just wipe off the next bit. For the little, um, put that way out of shot there. For the little bits at the top there, I use a really, really tiny little dotting tool. It looks quite big on camera, but I assure you it's not. And then I'm just gonna do, oh, my hands are so shaky. Trying to remember to keep talking because I get in that mode of concentrating and then go quiet. Which I think my clients find to be a bit of a saving grace. It's like, oh, if we get her to do some nail art, she'll shut up for a bit. So this finished 
look might not be as good as the nail I prepped earlier but I wasn't super duper nervous when I was doing that The lovely thing about these gel paints, they do not move. So when you're doing your art, unless you smudge it or put these little little tiny dots too close together, they won't fade into one another. You can also do this kind of intricate art with the buttercreams. They are perfect for nail art and that's what makes them one of my favourite products really. If you are going to be doing um, nail art with buttercreams, then I just open the lid and crack on. Don't agitate it as you would if you were going to be doing a full coverage. That was one of my mistakes when I first got into using Light Elegance and got a bit cocky and, you know, we think we can do these things. So some of those lines are so fine, I don't know how well the camera's picking them up. But I'm just going to flash cure that because, like I said about getting a little bit cocky, I will then probably drop this or wipe it or something stupid. So that'll do. And then these little leafies at the bottom. I've tried to do ones on here that are a little bit wider than I normally do just to, to give a different look, really, because I'm going to be doing some of the thinner ones um, later on in the live. Now, I know it's not as easy with a client. You can't just turn their hands upside down. I will try and do it as if I were doing it on a client, but with a camera in my way. So you need like a slight little bit more of the brush really out of focus slight little bit more and rather than doing the branches first like I did before with these because the vines are so thin I always start with the leaf and start with the bottom fade it up into the top so you need the tiniest little bit on your brush So you've got your tiny little leaf. And then before I flash cure on this, I then, with no extra product on the brush, I then pull slightly from the bottom. I saw that trick ages ago, invaluable. I can't remember who that was, but thank you for saving my life so many times. And then just a few little more. So I'm dipping this back in the pot, but getting the tiniest little bit each time. Sorry if my hands are getting in the way. I feel like I'm doing this really cack-handed. Again, when you first start doing these, I would just maybe just give it even just a couple of seconds flash cure in between each leaf. Which I probably should have done from the shaking. I've messed that one right up. Nothing that can't be saved with a little bit of cleanser. And then with the leaves, when you're joining them, again, no extra product, just drag it down slightly. And I'm going to give it a very, very quick flash fuel and check for any questions. Oh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> oh, just reading the lovely comments. Thank you. <laughs> so... And then I'll do the other side. So I've got so many um, lamps on the go here. If you keep hearing the little ting, it's because I'm 
smacking my lamp with a brush. I think I was a bit over paranoid about people not being able to see what I was doing. So there's three lights on the go. So there's that bottom one done. <clears throat> so I'll just pop him back in the lamp for a couple of seconds. If you're getting too much of a flicker from the light, just let me know, because I have got um, a glam core on the go and they are notorious for a bit of a flicker. Great for seeing what you're doing, but not so great if you're filming. Uh, recommendation for brushes um at the moment you can't get the light elegance brushes in the uk um jojo and layla might correct me on this but i'm sure it's to do with the fact that they're not um completely vegan amazing brushes but not completely vegan so um if you want them they will order them in for you um, I'm not sure that I'm allowed to recommend other brands at the minute. Um, and if you see the name of the brush, then you, you see that that's not my fault. But if you want the link to the brush that I'm using, I will send it to you after the live. Just drop a, um, a comment down and I will get back to you on it. Um, these other little ones, I've tried to do something a little bit different just to show you again the kind of intricate art you can do. Um, oh, Jojo says go for it. I can give my recommendation. So the the uh, brush that I'm using is a Glitter Bells one. And this one in particular, you wouldn't believe how hard it is to get hold of. Um, it's normally out of stock on the Glitter Bells site, but I usually find it on Salons Direct. Um, I only say I've looked for more because... Um, People have asked me and I've tried to find the link and send it to them. And then it's always like, oh, it's out of stock. So I'll find a link for them. Because you're, if you look after your nail art brushes well, then they will last you forever. So don't, I mean, some brushes are quite expensive. But again, you know, they, they will last you a lifetime. If you, oh, no, I have had to replace one once because I did that silly thing that, I guarantee most nail techs have done and left it in the sunlight. If you leave it in the sunlight, your gel is going to cure in the brush and it will then be ruined. To clean your brush, all I do is get one of the little um, Ellie Pro cleansing pads and literally just wipe off the excess, which I'll show you. And then, um, or if, say like using black, it can sit in the brush for a bit um, so just put a little bit of clear gel on a palette, so like a base coat or a top coat, run your brush through it and it will draw out the extra colour um, and then just wipe it off with, um, with one of your lint-free pads. And then put the lid on and put it out of the sunlight. So there's little intricate, almost sort of hollow ones. I don't really know what you call them. I don't even know. I'm not green fingered. So I literally then just run a little line through the middle. Just enough to give you just a little, little bit of detail. Which again looks much better on the one I did earlier when I didn't feel like I was dying on the inside. And this is why I said earlier about flash curing, because now I've messed that up. And if I'd have flash cured like I told you guys to, I could have wiped that off very easily. But with that, I've just got a little bit of cleanser on my pad. I wiped it. Mm. 
Again, I'm using such a light touch with this. If you push too hard, you're just gonna get a bulky outline and no one wants a bulky outline. And again, like earlier, draw back your little vine, which is so fine. Can you see that? Yeah. Then have a little flask cure. I can hear a little bit of background noise from my kitchen. If you can hear that, I'm really sorry, but I've got a bit of a makeshift set up. And I've warned all the kids in the house to be quiet. But there might be one come through again. Mam! That'll be Charlie. If he does, I'm going to embarrass him and put him on the live. So there's a little vine at the top. What I normally do with these as well, if you get a bit of vacant space like I've got with these, it's quite nice just to do like the few little dots on there. Or if there's any little imperfection you want to hide, put a little dot on there. Any imperfections, it's a little dot or cover it in glitter. If in doubt, cover it in glitter. Tiny bit more. And I am as happy with that as I'm gonna be with shaky hands. So I'll then pop that in the lamp. With the colours, um, they're all a 30 second cure. But if I'm doing any nail art like this, particularly with a black, I will give it a full 60 seconds in the lamp. And again, when you get a little bit carried away doing nail art, as I've done before, um, and I have been known to leave like a brush on the side in front of the lamp, do not put anything in front of your lamp. Um, I can't really show you without messing my setup up, but the, the light emittance is pointing well away from what I'm doing. Again, these little palettes, just a little bit of... Um, Ellie cleanser on there or if you don't want to waste your cleanser um, isopropyl alcohol will do the trick right so next one I'm going to do this is actually taking me way longer than I thought it was going to probably because I don't shut up but I'm going to do this one next so <clears throat> with my lovely one I prepped earlier and then on the base of this, as I said, I've got Nude with Attitude, but then I've also got Tiny Diamond. If you don't have Tiny Diamond in your collection, this, oh, it's just beautiful. I'll show you. See how stunning is that? I hope the camera can pick it up well, because that is beautiful. This will go over any colour and make it really pretty. Just gives it a little something extra. Now, I don't need to wipe this, but I'm going to because I've picked up some fluff. So a little bit of tiny diamond. Again, like with um, what I said earlier about the pigment, the, the glitter does suspend well, but if you do find it's a, a glitter, either P plus or a glitter gel in the pot, you might just need to give it a little bit of a mix. You can see I use this one quite frequently, so I don't really need to do that. So that is beautiful. I'm going to pop that in for 30 seconds. And my other one is done. There he is. Again, like with the, these designs, you can use any colours, any glitters. Um, if you want any recommendations for glitters, I have loads. I'm a glitter girl, love it. 
I was going to show you another design that I was going to put this colour in, which I'm going to show you while my uh, tip is in the lamp. This is Gold Bug Buttercream. Absolutely stunning. But I'm not going to do that other one. I might as well show you because I've got it on the desk. Look at that. Stunning. This is nice as a full coverage, but I like to use this for a bit of nail art as well. When I've done the design that I'm doing before, if I haven't done a glitter base, then I usually do a little glitter outline around, whatever you call these blobs. Blob, I call it a blob. Technical terms, I'm all about technical terms. Um, I'm gonna use, I've got two colors here that I'm gonna use, same as in my pre-done one. These are from the new Broadway show collection, which when I looked this morning was still in stock online. So be quick. Um, taken for granite. Oh no, that's not, that's a lie. Take a bow is from the Broadway collection. This one is from the Ellie Rocks collection. Jojo's gonna tell me off now. So then I just put a little blob of each color. Beautiful colours. I'm going to wipe off the inhibition layer from that glitter before I do this, because if you don't, then your blobs are just going to run everywhere. I use a, a bigger dotting tool than earlier. And the lovely thing about these is it doesn't matter where you put your blobs, doesn't matter how messy they are, because no one is going to know it wasn't supposed to look like that. Oh, apart from with me, because you can see what I did earlier. But it's okay, We're do they're, they're unique, going to be unique. In between that, I did just wipe the dotting tool. There, easy, super quick. This is a great salon design because it is so quick and easy. And once you master these little leaves, then you will be flying with them. So that's in the lamp for, well, should be 30 seconds, but I'll put it on 60. So we'll reset that. Has everyone been on and done some orders and made the most of our 20% discount code? You don't get discount codes like this very much with Light Elegance, not to that scale. So I would absolutely recommend using it. I went on yesterday morning when it opened at 9am because there was a couple of things that I particularly wanted um, and I didn't want them to go out of stock. And I had a horrible feeling, especially the Princess Butter Bling. I've had my eye on that for a while and I thought... I'm gonna wait for the discount code and be really cheeky. So I ordered them in case they go out of stock, but then I thought, I know I'm gonna do another order. I hope Martin's not listening, that's my husband, because I'll be in trouble. Um, when everyone's finished their lives over this show weekend, then I am gonna do another order and get all the things that I want. But yeah, just in case they went out of stock. Again, just with these little bits, wipe off the inhibition later. Well, Martin's in it, I'm in trouble. So I'm swapping over to primary white. My goodness, the time is getting away with me. I think we are only gonna have two designs, but what I will do, um, I'll just do some little tutorials and put them on my page, um, which is angie Bell and beauty if all goes well at the end of this live and I do what I'm supposed to do, then I will add myself as a collaborator so that you can see my page. But if I get that wrong, because I am not that great at technical stuff, then uh, I don't really know what I'll do. I'm trying to sound clever then. Again, these lovely little leafies, they're so easy, it doesn't matter where you put them. 
if you have a go at these little things, I would love to see. I don't care if you think they're perfect or not. Give me a little tag. I will love them. I will share them. I will comment. I'm all about sharing the love on Insta. Sometimes Insta doesn't love me back. Sometimes it does. We've all been there, right? Look at that, not shaky anymore. What I should have done was had a nice big glass of wine before I started this. I think I'll have one after. Um, who thinks I deserve one? Give me a thumbs up if you think I deserve a nice glass of wine after. I'm gonna pop that in the lamp. Yes, Jodo, I love hate relationship. I posted a reel the other day and got a thousand views and then I posted one and I got 1.2 million. Who knows why? I don't. I've tried with hashtags, without hashtags. I've tried posting different times of the day. I don't know. What I can tell you is my lovely mentor Jojo's advice on reel making has been invaluable. I didn't realise quite how wrong I was getting it. And she was like, this one's got a little black box around the outside. Like, I don't know where I went wrong. But I do now. Thanks to her great advice. Apparently it's because I'm old. That's what my kids say. I think that's just mean. Look at that. Yes, thank you, Layla. Yes, I will. Just because you said that I can have a glass of wine, maybe maybe I'll read that as bottle. Um, I always do another one coming up just from the other side. But again, the joy of this is you can do what you want. got the tiniest little bit of white on my brush I could I could put this down on the desk uncured and that would not budge the entire night I assure you this stuff is brilliant I've got so carried away with this that I don't even know if anyone's really asked me any questions, if I'm honest. I'm going to have a look after. I'll have a look after, and then I will reply to the comments online. Or hopefully, um, Jodo and Layla and maybe some of the ambassadors are on here and can help me out with that. Please. Please and thank you. Oh. Oh, no, I did, but I did remember his stalk. Can Kira have these nails? Yes, Kira, you can have these nails next. Absolutely. If you let me use you for social media content, you can have whatever nails you want. I did get a bit sad because I did her nails the other day and she's like, oh, I just have black. Just black. Like, don't get me wrong, I love black nails, but that's not what I wanted for my content. Yeah, beautiful. As I said earlier, um, with the negative space, what do we do with the negative space? We just... Oh. What we don't do is use a dotting tool that's got black on it and then stick it in our white. We've all done it, haven't we? 
or that horrible thing where you're doing a lot of nail art and you've got a few bottles open and then you take the brush from one bottle and stick it in another, which my clients think is hilarious. Not so funny for me. There, cute little dots. I wish you could see the sparkle a little bit more because that tiny diamond really is beautiful, but it's hidden up a bit. I'm gonna pop that in for 60 seconds. Again, it only technically needs 30, but you know, they're on the side of caution. So I'm done with that brush now. So I'm just gonna get one of my little Ellie pads. These are literally the best lint-free wipes you will get. I have tried so many, and no matter what they say, you will get that little, horrible, tiny little hair stuck to the nail or oh, anything. But these do not do that, and that's why they're my favourite. And then I will put my lid on my brush and put it away. Um, are there any questions while I've got this in the lamp? Uh, Angela, I'm glad you found it relaxed and watched me because I am so not relaxed right now. Still terrified. But if I watch this back and think I didn't do too bad, I might do some more lives. Who knows? Might get the bug. So I'm going to finish it off with my P plus top coat. I've used the P plus base, so I will match match my top coat. And because I wiped that inhibition layer earlier, it dulled my sparkle. But now I'm top coat, and you'll see that it brings it back a bit. Beautiful, super easy. I say super easy, that is a lie. When I first started, it is not super easy. So if you do this and think, what? Not easy at all, she's lying. Then that's why. It's just I've done it so many times. Um, I'm, I'm out of time really, so I can't do any more, but I'll just show you what I was doing. These ones, they're pretty self-explanatory what I've done. This one here, um, for that shadowing, all I did with the base one was took a bit of the um, black tie P plus and mixed it with um, some clear top coat, about a 60-40 ratio, so 40% black, um, and then did the base layer with that and then went in with just the black gel paint on the top and it gives you that lovely effect. Again, you can do it in any colours over any base layer and it will be beautiful. Oh, my sister said my baby nephew's looking for me because he can hear my voice. I want cuddle now. Um, the pinks I've used in this one, I'll show you because I got it out. Sassy Squatch. This is newest member of the Buttercream collection and it is stunning there's some um tutorials of this on my page as well if you want to see that in more detail but i'm going to show you my finished result we are all done and i'm going to get off because you have got the fabulous lenore on next and she's going to be showing some um, lovely floral designs so i'm going to stay on for that and i will hopefully see you in the comments on that live but thank you so much to everyone for watching um, and all the love. I, you have no idea how much I appreciate it. So hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.